Hello and welcome to my 17th Blitz 3D tutorial, and this is when I teach you how to make a third-person camera slash chase camera, and how to parent objects. So I'm going to start with our parenting objects example. So there is really a, a rela there's a relationship child to parent relationship in programming, and if you assign some objects slash childs to a certain parent, that means when you move this parent, all of the childs move with it corresponding to the position of the current parent. So I'll just teach you how to do that. If you understand that, you'll have no problem. As you can see here, I have just created a blank program, put in a cube, positioned it, colored it, positioned a plane, and I just turn I just use the key controls to move our cube, turn entity on left and right left and right turns and to move it according to our position with our uh, uh, front with our up and down arrow keys. So, just do that. And now we will just create a cylinder, if you still remember how, create cylinder command, which will actually be our marker. We, we want it, so, I'll just run this program, hit F5, just to show you what I mean here. And I actually rotate our camera 25 degrees on the x-axis. So, yeah. So, we'll be in this position, I'll just and I'll show you what with this does. We can move our camera. We can rotate our cube and we can move it. That's all it does. And it's really hard to tell the front of the cube. So I'm just going to have a cylinder just sticking out of the cube to actually just represent the front of our cube. So just exit out of that. And now let's, that's, that's what I'm creating a cylinder for. And when we move the cube, I want the cylinder to move with the cube. So I'm going to parent the cylinder to the cube. So just wait a bit, and you'll see what I mean. Position the... Sorry. To T. Okay, there we go. Position entity. T. Sorry, cylinder. Oh, let's position it just a bit uh, farther than our cube. And now let's just scale it. To T. Sorry if I can just spell anything right today. Scale entity cylinder, sorry, comma, 0 0.5, comma, 2, comma, 0 0.5. Yeah, I think that would work. X, X and Z axis is scaling it on half and just stretching it out on the Y. So let's just color our, Q, our so, cylinder the same color that was we use to color our cube, so they kind of just match. And now comes the most interesting part, when we parent our cylinder to our cube. To do this, we use entity parent command. So let's find a parent for our cylinder and cube. So all this says is to this cylinder is the child object and the cube is the parent object. So everything should be fine now. Just wait. Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah, right. I forgot to rotate our cylinder. Let's rotate it 90 degrees, so it's actually... All right, I'll just show you. Rotate entity. Oh, my gosh. Entity cylinder, comma, 90, comma, 0, comma, 0. And all this does is on the x-axis, which is this axis, it rotates it up 90 degrees. So it's facing up and down. That's all it does. Run it, please. Now let's see, and yes, all right. There we go. Now you see that that cylinder is just following our cube. We can make some kind of like tank out of this, just make it move and shoot through, boom, boom, or something. But that, that's not the main purpose of this tutorial. And now for the and as you noticed in that section, that when we move our cube, our camera doesn't follow the cube, slash tank, or whatever you want to call it. So, we will have to make a chase camera to follow that cube. And a chase camera, you know, like you know those old Mario Bros. games, how when Mario moved, and the Mario moved to the right or left, there was a camera following him. That's the same here, except we're just going to create a three-dimensional chase camera, so it follows it on all axes. So let's just position entity, just position our camera on the locations of our cube. 
And to do that, we're going to use some handy entity X, entity Y, and entity Z command. And in the brackets, it takes the object that we want to steal this coordinate from. So just insert Q in each one of those brackets. So we can get the, all the court X and Y's, X, Y, and Z coordinates from our cube. And if we run this, I just want to show you, we see nothing because we are now directly inside that tank cube or something. So whatever you choose to call it. So we're going to have to move our camera a bit back, just about negative 5 on the Z axis back. So if we run this right now, we will see uh, another scene here. And if we just, we can rotate, and when we hold our up arrow key, it doesn't move anywhere at all. So, that's just kind of dumb, I guess, because I should have used a better example here. Because right now we have just a blank plane. If we had more features on this plane, you could see that we were really moving. And uh, just to show you that we're moving in coordinates, I will just create a quick text string to show us the values of our camera. Show us the coordinates of our camera. I'll just put x colon space plus entity x x camera. And that just shows us the coordinates of our camera and to show you that we're actually moving. And let's just, we're just combining strings here. Let's put two spaces there. y colon space then plus entity Y camera. You should probably be getting on to this. Entity Y camera. Camera. Plus, just move this window so you can see. Space, space. Z space. Plus entity Z camera. If you really want to see, I'm just going to move this window. And there we go. We combined it into one big string. Just to run that program. And here in the top right, top left, sorry, corner, you see that we have our X, Y, and Z coordinates of our camera. And now, I, since I, I don't have a too big of a window, I will just show you, look at the Z coordinate as I press the up arrow key. It's just flying. That's just to show you that we're actually moving. And if I turn a bit, then the other coordinates will start moving. The X coordinates moving right now, and now if I move back, if I move back on the Z axis, it's going down. And yeah, you can actually make a cool font if you want for this text that we display here. That's up to you. So thanks for watching, guys. And that was it for today. So, see ya.